Fashionistas. I'm excited to see what you've come up with, Winston. You've been turning many heads at Pedacino over the years. Oh, well, I appreciate that, Miss Vanilli. And I'm truly honored that you asked me to put some designs together for your company. I'm thankful that someone of your caliber and dedication was wanting to come on board. Would you like to see some of the designs? You see, I have uh, this one right here. It's a nice little dress there. It's all thrifty. You know, just like this. It's a very nice one. And then, and then of course, you have this one right, right here. The, pat the flower patterns are very popular this year, you know, it's just off. Like, hey, yes, it's very nice. These can't be your designs. They're way too small. This is a joke. No, this isn't a joke. I mean, this is a jacket. You can see the sleeves right here. Right, yes, it's a jacket. But it can't be the real jacket. You have life-size jackets too, right? Well, this isn't a life jacket. This is not going to make you float in the water. I'm a, I mean, I, I guess if you get a bunch of them like put together in like some sort of type of raft or something, maybe it'd work. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, let's 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 just back up here. Oh, right, right then. Well, I mean, I can't go back too far. I mean, I'm sitting in this chair, and I don't see any life jackets around here either. No, I want to know if you have life jackets that are human size. These are way too small. Well, I don't know. I thought you might have been trying to get into the little people market, you know? No one is that small. Well, maybe there is, but we just don't see them because they're hiding, because they're naked. You know, because they're embarrassed. Well, did you get the dimensions I requested? Well, yes I did. I followed them exactly. That is not a 46-39-48. Well, of course it is. I measured it myself. I had a measuring tape and everything. Wait, did you measure in millimeters? What do insects have to do with this? Millimeters, not millipedes. Can't you remake the designs in inches, not millimeters? Well, I don't really think I could. I don't have the original designs anymore. You don't have the designs? Well, I kind of figured we had all we need. I mean, how many tiny people could there be out there? There would be zero? Well, then we have plenty, don't we? We're trying to come with a design for the general population, not non-existent tiny people. Well, I kind of figured you'd make more money if you made them bigger. I mean, that's why I was able to sell them so easily to the Ilde Shane Cobbling and Women's Wear Company. Hold on. You sold your designs to Il Shane? Well, I mean, they did give me a pretty penny for them. We can't use your designs if you've already sold them. Well, I didn't think you needed a bunch of extra tiny clothes, so that's why I figured you didn't need the designs anymore. Didn't you think this through? You have given me nothing. You have all this passion and vision, but you didn't even consider that I want regular sized clothing. And you sold the designs to our direct competitor. And all you've given me is a bunch of dolls clothes. Well, maybe it didn't work out for you, but I wound up with my pretty penny. They literally gave you a penny for all those designs? Well, I mean, when you say it like that, it almost sounds like I got ripped off. Winston, I'm sorry. It's not going to work out. You're on your own. Uh, all right. That's unfortunate and all. Well, maybe I could sell these to like a shrew or something like that. You know, maybe appreciate that more than your your stinking company. Yes, I would like your 14 ounce grizzly steak well done, served with Frankfurt seasoning, shavings of gold, and doused in Sophia Loren's tears. Served alongside your finest put of <laughs> white wine, and served personally by Christopher Plummer. Thank you. Hello? Sir, Winston Mandersley is not going to work for us. It seems like you're having difficulty with this assignment, Miss Vanilli. I have a plan. There is one more designer that may well push Paticino Internationale Clothiers into the next era of fashion design. Who? Zanya. No one has seen her 
in years. No, I know where she is. Miss Vanilli, you always surprise me. You're knowledgeable, think quick on your feet. I like that. That's why I'm giving you a second chance. But if you don't produce results this time, I'm going to make sure you never work in fashion again. Of course we can. All right, I stopped listening.